Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, the topic of discussion tonight, this afternoon or this morning, whenever you're looking... Uh, at the video Bethany Frankel it's like she's not surprised Kim Kardashian got booed <laughs> at one of the football games I said Bethany Frankel be on Kim Kardashian's ass okay she won't let up off of her for no good reason she's always gonna have her in the mud frying her up like she was in a frying pan or something first she was talking about uh, Kim's makeup products cleansing products and some other things it just she tickles me pink she really does but anyway that's going into the article it's written by eliza thompson and um it's out for the u.s weekly platform she titles her article bethany frankel isn't surprised kim kardashian was booed at the football game those fans can be bought or can't be bought, she says. Oh, sharing her thoughts, Bethany Frankel weighed in after Kim Kardashian was booed while attending a Los Angeles Rams game over the weekend. From shady to real, Bethany Frankel most candidates... Well, okay, why is everyone surprised that Kim Kardashian was booed at a football game? The Real Housewives of... Ale well, I'm sorry, the Real Housewives of New York City, along 51, tweeted on Monday, October 10th, it's America's pastime. The fans are people with daughters and sons who have hope for realistic role models for their children. Football is not the superficial land of fashion. Those fans can't be bought. <laughs> Child, she said, uh, the uh, hope for realistic role models. So what is she saying? Kim is not a good role model. That's what she's trying to say on the sly, y'all. Go ahead, Bethany Franco. Go ahead. Um... The Skims entrepreneur, 41, was sitting in the stand at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, with Sun Saint 6. And on Sunday, October 9th, when a camera sh showed her on the arena, Jumbotron, as the reality star blew a kiss to the crowd, the audience erupted in a chor chorus of boos. <laughs> Woo! I bet Kim wish she was, uh, what do you call it, her, like, sick or something in her, um, uh, Security guard had to take her out of there. Because that would have been a slap in the face to me. Ooh, booing at me too. Ooh, Lord, honey. The St. Paul said, where y'all booing at my mama? He probably wanted to fight everybody in there, okay? But in a way, he should know what his mama do and does do on this platform in the past and the present. And probably what she's going to do on her platform in the future, okay? But anyway, um, after the incident, Stephen Almel defended the hula personality in a tweet writing being booed at a sporting event is a huge compliment when people who don't know you think they dislike you it means you are super duper famous no that, that's not what it means <laughs> he's trying to take up for kim but no them them people just didn't like kim period and they wanted the camera to get off of her quick fast and hurry they didn't want to see her there they didn't care about her being there all right Ain't like she could sing and get up there and perform or something. She just like a Instagram thought model. You know what I'm saying? Look how she came to fame, all right? And now people are actually looking at her show and watching her comments and goings. Now, hmm, how we can be pulled up from an assistant to being the shit? Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Franklin, Frankel, however, hasn't been shy about critiquing the selfish author and her famous family. Last month, the skinny girl found it stood up for Ray J after the R&B singer 41 claimed that his ex-girlfriend and her mother, Kris Kardashian, or Kris Jenner, were involved 
in releasing Kardashian sex tape. I bet that Ray J just hasn't been properly compensated and he's being embarrassed in front of his family and they keep exploiting it and capitalizing on it the former bravo personality said in a since deleted instagram video ray j should get 10 percent commission for lightning the flame that created america's first family she later uh doubled down in the tiktok video saying that friends have told her that momager 66 hired hair and makeup for the tape which initially made headlines in 2007 why is it everybody acting like this isn't this didn't happen franco continued the poor guy finally cracked because he got he got to explain to his kids why he looks like he explored someone else and why he's left holding the bag the naturally thin author has also criticized Kardashian skincare line, calling the skin by Kim packaging crazy in a TikTok vi uh, video she posted in August. It's bubble bus, bold bus. I don't understand it because it doesn't stack. The New York City native said at the time, I don't live in a circular house. I don't have a medicine cabinet. That's impractical at best. <laughs> Then she said earlier this month, Franco expressed similar criticism about packaging for Kylie Jenner's uh, Kylie Cosmetics line. The big shot with Bethany alum called a $175 birthday PR box from the brand uh, a scam, though she admitted she likes the product. <laughs> so she liked Kyla, but she can't stand Kim's products. Okay. All right. And at $175, ooh, child, too expensive for my taste. I'll move on. But going back to the article, it said, this has a box that you're going to throw in the garbage. Uh, unless you have a hamster, Franco said in a social media post. How stupid do you, women, how stupid do we have to be? I mean, I'm a sucker. I like the packaging. But where you lost me is when you scammed me. <laughs> that damn ba uh, Bethany Franco. She is something else. But that's all I got. It was a cute little um, article that Eliza had wrote up for her company or her employer, Weekly USA. <laughs> Throwing more salt. And we're going to probably have more salt before the week's ends, okay, about Bethany going out the Kim. I don't know why they don't like each other. But she nice, nasty, shade her every time she gets a chance. So Kim can't catch a break. Kim, I think you need to apologize to Beth Bethany for something you may not know you did or said, but you need to get in conversations with her so she can stop blowing you up for the negative on social media, girlfriend. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.